Good morning. Pretty excited today. I just received my package from uh, Royce and his team at uh, Clevercool. I've just purchased uh, the latest of their uh, electric fans to uh, go into a three-way fridge. The exciting part of this one is that this, this system here actually goes up onto the top of uh, the top vent of a, a caravan. Uh, I know he's done a lot before on the size, but this one is one of the first that uh, he's actually made to go on the top. So I'm going to go through, do a, an install, uh, hopefully get it right. I think I'll, I'll be pretty good because um, he's provided these great instructions and lots of uh, coloured pictures and things. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's uh, pretty comprehensive. Uh, and also, everything comes in these separate packages. 3D print RV. And um, yeah, let's get into it. So that's the vent up there I'll be working on. Uh, make sure you've got a sturdy ladder and um, strong footings. And uh, yeah, let's get up there and take it off and see what we have to do. We're going to start at the uh, top, uh, doing the uh, roof vent. Uh, looks like we need a screwdriver, side cutters, permanent marker, terminal crimping pliers, and tools to connect the fan power cables to our van. Okay, but first off, we've got a warning here, making sure that uh, all the power's off. So I'm going to remove the uh, 240 volts to make sure that that's definitely off. Um, I don't have a 240 volt system apart from the inverter I use when I need it. So we'll make sure the power's off. Uh, I'm still running on batteries, so I'll turn that off. So that's off now. And I'll just test this fridge. That would have come on if the power was on, so we're all safe. So I'm actually looking for the uh, four screw holes on the top, and there we have the four of them. Looks like they've got silicon in them, so we'll have to get the silicon plugs out. Go down. Get your hand on it, keep lifting it up, and then comes out like that. That's the way to do it. And then we unscrew. So that's the uh, four screws out. Let me lift this off, and uh, yeah, it's a bit dirty, but that actually goes down behind the uh, the fridge. So you can see these um, these brackets here. This is where the actual or spaces. This is where uh, the top fan mounts actually sit on here. You can see they're a bit warped. So and that just comes when they're manufactured plus all the heat. Uh, so you might have to sort of push them in a little bit. Um, Make sure your fans are all in. They just they click down just to make sure they're good. And when you put this on here, it has to be halfway between that side and that side. So not up here, not down there, just about halfway. And then we'll line up and just see if it fits. Just making sure that um, the clips will actually fit on the spaces there. Don't press down too hard because you don't want to lock it on at this stage. You just want to make sure that um, it's going to fit. I'm now going to put the uh, cable bushing into my mesh up on the top. There it is. The instructions are really good. I've got to get up there and uh, cut this piece out here so that uh, the bushing can actually just sit straight down. It looks like we uh, tie them off with um, electric cable. I need to uh, clip three of these. So I reckon there's one, two, Two and three, just like that. And then I've got to go two up, so that'll be this way. It's going to be one, two. Making sure this little hole here goes down into the bottom left-hand corner. Uh, we've got two smaller. Electrical ties here, we'll actually electric tie these on. Like that. And the second one goes down through there. I tried to do it the other way around and it didn't work. 
there like that. Set those off. Good job. Oh, it's not going anywhere. Now with the uh, the blue end here, I'll pull this down and I measure it to um, 270 millimetres, which is just there, and put a mark on it, just like that. So this white one's the uh, cable that goes back to the uh, remote, so I'll also mark that at uh, 270 mil out there. So I've got those done. And now I'm going to put this down through here with these here and I reckon I get a, a um, electric tie to hold that into place so it doesn't pull out and uh, dislodge. Then aim them for the back, aim for the back of the fridge. So I'm pushing it down and it's heading down. I've taken the cover off so I can find out uh, where it has to go. By twisting it around you can actually get the two pieces uh, in the right area. Because the uh, back of the fridge is so close to the back wall it was pretty hard to uh, get both down. Uh, maybe pay to put that out in the sun and get it a little bit straighter before you try and get it down. I got one down and what I've done is I've actually tied a cord to it. Now I'm just going to um, tape these together and then hopefully pull them back down. We'll see how we go. Through the little hole, like that. Let's go down and see what happens. It's a little bit like fishing. I just hope it doesn't get off. That's sounded good so far. Whoops. Oh dear. Lucky I didn't pull it too hard because it was actually a, uh, a knot that had actually uh, happened up the top. But uh, here we go. La la, we've got them both down. i got to be very careful not to pull them too hard, otherwise I'll pull them all the way through. So now, I get a slightly bigger cable tie, put it through this hole here, there it is there, use my pointy nose pliers to grab it on the other side and pull it through, like that. Get halfway. Then I find my red markers here for the uh, 270 millimeter. There's the other one just there. Push that back down into there. Like that. So that's gonna go over like that. And then just thread the electrical tie through. Pull it right down. Make it nice and tight. There's no way that can dislodge now from up here. And you've actually got the length in this now, so that if you ever have to take the lid off again, you've got the room to actually move it away, because if it was too tight, then that would actually hold, hold it on. It's nice and tight, cut it off. Good job. So uh, then just clip straight into this controller here. That clips in nicely. Now I've just got to take this port off, I'll do that carefully without damaging anything. So that's the port off. You can see the wires in there. So then all I do is connect this one, I'm thinking, straight into there. Like that. We're all connected. In your pack you'll actually find another cover. It's actually got the uh, cutout here so that uh, that can just slip straight over the top there and then just clip down on like that. It'll keep the dust out and protect it. Now it's time to connect up the power and the fuse goes into there just like that. So the cable with the white stripe on it is negative and obviously the other one's positive and that's the one you connect your fuse to. So here I've actually tested that I have got positive and negative and I've connected my uh, positive up to the positive and negative up to the negative. Turn the 12 volts back on. There we go. You see in there the uh, little green lights are on, so that's a good sign. 
Now I've just got to move this switch here on to test and we'll see what happens. How about that? I think it's working. Well, looking at the screen, it's going slow, but trust me, it's turning really well. And the lights there have turned blue. So I'm really happy this is going perfectly. Now I'll just attach it. Now it's time to put the fan on permanently. Making sure this is off and you just use your little Allen uh, key here that they provide. Um, you need this open so that you can actually get the wires out of the way so they don't get in the way. They go down there like that, tuck them in like that. But then line up the clips. When you're putting this on, don't push in the middle. Make sure you push on the outsides. And depending on how old your caravan is, these are pretty brittle. So just take it easy. And as I said before, they're not exactly straight. So we need to line them up and make sure that they actually fit. Everything's gently, gently. If you actually look down in here, between these holes here, you can see if the eclipse are actually on. Or by looking back up through there. If you need to get this off again for any uh, reason, it's just a case of cutting through these and lifting it out and then reattaching new uh, electrical tyres to it. So the fans are on at the moment and there's a little blue uh, light on here showing that they're on. Unfortunately, um, you can't check that all the time if you haven't got a ladder and you don't want to keep on getting up and down. Um, so that's one of the good reasons why you should have one of the remotes because the remote's actually got the lights on it so you can actually check that from inside uh, the caravan. Now all I need to do is uh, put the cover back on, which just fits in there perfectly. And then put my big screws back in there. So put some silicon back in the hole, pump it down like that. So another test I'm doing, before I actually mount the remote, uh, I've just connected uh, the remote onto the, the cord where it's going to be. Um, that's on standby, that's on automatic, and that's actually fan on. So it's all working. So you can see the smoke getting drawn up there. Smoke's going straight up. And then, if you look out the top there, you can see the smoke coming up through the top. So I'm about to uh, put the remote in, and I'm just considering where I'm going to put it. I was sort of thinking here, but uh, obviously that uh, cupboard would be in the way. Um, because I've got to go down behind the fridge, I think I need to keep it as far that way as possible. I'm thinking just about there, so I've got to do my 22mm uh, hole just there. check to see if I'm hitting anything. Ah, nice neat hole. Whoops, Joe's not going to be happy. So now I've got to get uh, this connection, which actually goes back up to the top of the fan, up in here and through the hole. So what I'm thinking is it might be easier to drop something down here um, and then connect it to this and then just pull it back up. So I'll have a go at doing that. Well, that seems to be going down quite easily. And check outside and see if we can find it. Well, there it is. I'll just get my pliers in there and grab it. There we go. There it is. So now I've just got to attach those two things together. And then, there we have it. All the way through. Yeehaw. So the cord now just gets put in just like a, an old telephone cord, clicked in there. And then I was going to feed that back through the hole, get my template, and then um, put it back in. Just about finished this part of it. On the back page of the uh, notes, there's two templates. Um, they're both the same. Just basically a case of cutting them out like this. 
so I'll cut it one out and then placing it over the hole and that'll give us uh, the drill holes for our two uh, screws that'll actually attach the uh, remote. And last but not least, we've got these little um, screw covers here, so they just clip straight in there, so it's looking nice and black. So there you go, red standby. Green is auto, so that's uh, temperature sensitive. And then blue is on. She's a goer. So I've just tidied up the remote cord uh, with an electric uh, cable tie. So the next job is to actually install the fridge fans inside the fridge. Um, they actually attach to those uh, vanes at the back and there's little clips on either side just here and here that actually clip on like that. Now the idea is the, uh, the power cable comes down. Now it pay to actually take out if you've got the same fridge as us, take out this um, water catchment drawer and you'll see where the overflow is here. So the, the idea is to actually uh, attach it up the top, have the um, power cord go down the drain and uh, we'll try and find the drain uh, on the outside and cut it open and find the power cord. So that clips in uh, both sides like that and then it actually clips over at the top and then it just sits, sits down on top like that and that's as hard as it is very easy and that's that's solid that's very solid so now we'll actually get the uh, cord to go down and hopefully through that hole i'll put a little bit of tape around the uh, the edge with the wires uh, bent back so they don't get caught and now we can put it in and see where it goes yep it goes straight in there and we just keep feeding it down and just a little sort of jiggle backwards and forwards seems to be the trick there because I know the drain, the drain itself has actually got some uh, crimpling around it so we just keep pushing down until it won't go any further and that's just about stopped so I'll go outside and see if I can find it so this is the drain pipe here you can see why it kept on stopping and starting because it's got that sort of a ripple effect on it so the power cord here is going to come out and I'm going to attach it to this power here. And what I'm going to do is just very carefully run my Stanley knife through there, pull it out, hopefully it's there, um, and then um, put some silicone on it to make sure it's all sealed up. There it is. So what I'm going to do now is um, put my pliers in there and grab it. That just pulls out of there like that. And then we pull it down. I'll just go back inside and make sure that it's not uh, fouled. Reading Royce's instructions, he actually uh, made a cut going straight down. Uh, looking at that, it's probably a smarter way. That way you can actually uh, put um, electrical tyres around it to, to gather it in. Um, I'll just make sure this is well siliconed. Make sure you leave enough lead here, just in case you need to pull the fan out again. And uh, then it's just a case of putting your uh, drip tray back into place and uh, just making sure the wires are there so it's all all working. Now just go and connect the power. So like with the uh, the fans on the top we had to um, put a fuse in. Uh, the fridge fans don't need a fuse because they've got uh, an automatic shut off um, fuse there so no need for that just straight into the power. I've tidied these up. I've kept all the lengths just in case. Um, you never know. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the job. All I need to do now is uh, silicone that and put the uh, cover back on and we're done. So just adding a bit of silicone around here to make sure that's not going to leak. And it won't. Cool. Okay, so the moment of truth. Let's see if I switch fans on only. There you go. I don't know if that's spinning, but they're definitely spinning in real life. You've got your temperature here. They say not to adjust the start and stop because it's uh, already been uh, done in the uh, factory. Now we'll turn it off. 
and then we'll do the fan and the LED. So there we've got a, a disco LED in the background. Uh, that's the sensor there. The sensor can be unscrewed and placed anywhere in your fridge. But we're just going to leave it there and uh, see how we go. So that's the uh, Clevercool fan installation and remote uh, finished. Um, things I would do differently probably next time. Instead of trying to get those uh, cables uh, down from the, uh, the top hatch of the fridge vent um, on their own, I'd probably get a bit of string or cord with a weight, pull that through first, and then I'd attach the, uh, the cable that way because it did uh, take me a little while to actually get them down. Um, the other thing I'd do is make sure that uh, I cut that um, pipe, with the drain pipe, vertically and not horizontally, although it looks okay with a bit of silicon. Um, and the only other thing um, I can think of is the actual putting the fan up on the roof in position. You're probably best to mark it, because I actually got that excited that I was actually clicking it in finally, that I probably didn't have it quite central. So if you actually mark where the edge has to be with a texter, um, you can make sure you get that right. But um, Royce did a really good job with the instructions and um, everything was um, really easy to do. So I don't think you have a problem. Um, and if you need any help, he's there all the time, just a phone call away. Okay, cheers. If you like this sort of video, please subscribe to our channel. Um, we'll be doing a test uh, up north in the tropics and I'll let you know how well it works. Cheers. Thank you.